There's a private school. We were talking, sweetheart, and I think it might be a good idea if you got away for a while. You mean live there? Well, uh, you wouldn't have to, only if you like it. I don't want a girl's school. Well, it's not a girl's school. It's boys and girls. I'd cancel my appointments for the rest of the day. I thought we'd just drive over and take a look. I'll look. Nice to be right with you. Thank you. Dr. Baum, I'm Chris Rice. Doctor, my wife Helen. Hello. Hello. This is my daughter Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. I'm Jean. Hi. I'm Wendy. We're druggies too. What is this? Where am I? What do you mean, druggies, too? I'm no druggie. Sweetheart, we had no alternative. It's a place, a treatment program for kids on drugs. All I've ever done is, is pot and stuff. I'm not crazy. I can handle it. You don't even know what's real anymore. I do. Daddy, I know. I know what's real. I'll go to school. Honest. I'll go tomorrow. You can take me. You can call and see. Honest, Daddy, please. It's because we love you. We can't let you do things to keep on hurting yourself anymore. I'm not going to stay here. You can't make me. I haven't done anything wrong. The message is, you've screwed up your life, Susan. Badly enough that your parents here finally said, hey, no more. You've blown your family, your school, your ability to walk around free, the privilege of people trusting you. So someone else is going to be in charge of you now, another young person, a druggie just like you, but someone who's far enough along in her program to have earned some of those rights back, especially the right to be trusted enough to be responsible for herself. Now, Wendy's going to be responsible for you until you start to look at what drugs have done to your life. You will go nowhere unless she leads you. Until you start to reconstruct your life, your ability to control yourself and relate to family and school and other things. I'll kill myself. I swear I will. I never want to see you again. I hate you. I hope you die. I'll run the first chance I get. You guys can't keep me here. No one can. We've been too permissive, I think. I'm not blaming. I'm getting at the core. If something else is upsetting your wife, Dr. Bauer. Uh, well, you, this business you said in there about um, another girl leading her places. By the forearm. What are those girls? Wendy. Why? To let her know that she's not trusted, that her life is out of control, and that someone cares. I'd like to make one thing clear right away. I don't want anybody, under any circumstances, using physical restraint on our daughter. She's not a bad child. She's just got some problems. Look, she doesn't do hard drugs. She's going through some kind of adolescent rebellion. Then take her. What are you talking about? You have the answers. You don't need us. I think I know what's right. How far has it gotten you? Look, kids, got your daughter into drugs, Dr. Bauer. 
And they're the ones that said, here, try this. I mean, they know all the tricks, all the lies she does, the conning, the denial. Now, the kids that work here have all been there themselves, and they're the only ones that can get her out of it. Look, if you're not able to turn her loose, to let go, maybe, maybe you're not. You're going to be absolutely powerless over what happens here. Just as powerless as you have been. Now, if you can't accept that, and the fact that we are here to help her and you. Go on out and take your daughter home. No talking during meetings unless you're asked to speak. No fighting or shoving. No answering or making telephone calls. No cosmetics of any kind. No television or radio, no magazines, no jewelry or belts. No chewing gum or candy, no profanity or obscene gestures, and no visitors without prior permission. right now. Do you feel good? Empty. Do you like that feeling? No. No, I feel like a piece of crap all the time. And I, I don't know how to stop it. This is Susan Bauer. She says she's done alcohol and pot. She's 15. Does anybody know her? Carol. I've seen her in school. She's done a lot more than pot and alcohol. I've seen her do LSD, PCP, crystal meth, and mushrooms. What's the first rule we learn in your group? Be, Be honest. honest. Okay, Arnie, make a start. Just do it, right now, for once and for all. Stop feeling like crap all the time. Start to feel good about yourself. You can do it. I feel... What? I feel angry. That's easy. Feeling angry is easy. I feel embarrassed. That's a cop-out. All right, I'm scared. Okay. Of what? I feel worse now than when I was a druggie. Arnie, you ran away from here. You went back to getting high. Is that why you did it? So you wouldn't feel bad? I felt like crap when I went back. Okay. Arnie, you need to get honest with yourself. Make a decision to do something about that. If you think you're the only one with these feelings, you're wrong. Who wants to give Arnie a start right now? Sit down. Love you, Arnie. Kevin? Hi, hon. Hi, Mom. This is Susan Bauer. She's my beginner. Hello, Susan. She's a real garbage head. Get in front, dear. Those nails weren't put there for you, Susan. They've been there a while. I'm not going to talk to you. You feel all your supports are gone, don't you? That you're at everyone's mercy? 